Today I want to talk about converting scale to inches. So let's just work with n scale for a minute. Now n scale is 1 60th scale. O scale is 1 48. So what does that mean and how do we convert that to inches to figure out how to do our track plans? This means there's going to be 160 units in N scale for every one unit of prototype. So for one foot in N scale, that would be equivalent to 160 feet of prototype. Now the best way to deal with this though is we don't normally want to think of our N scale in feet. So we really want to look at it in inches. So what we want to do is get out a calculator Divide 160 by 12, and that gives us 13.33333, and that converts it to inches. The easiest way to use this conversion is when we want to figure out, let's say, what a 50-foot boxcar would be, is to multiply by this, but we have to invert it. So let's do the invert. And the number of 0 0.075 is the most convenient way to multiply and convert scale feet to n scale inches. Let's take a look at this, which means 10 feet would be... Point seven five inches, twenty feet would be one point five inches, forty feet would be three inches, and then from there we can say eighty feet. would be 6 inches and then we know 100 feet would be 80 plus 20 would be 7.5 inches and of course you can simply do that in your head by multiplying 0 0.075 by 100 and move the decimal place over to get you to 0.7.5 inches Ninety feet, and you can just add seven point five to six to get you to ninety, and kind of use this table to get you anything you want, or just get a calculator out. And if you said you had a a building that stretched one hundred and fifty feet, multiply that by 0 0.075 and it gives you 11.25 inches and there you have it that's how we do our end scale conversions in order to get uh, how many inches of layout are going to be taken up by prototypical feet so let's take it the next step we have a 53 foot car What does that make in inches on a layout? 53 times 0 close to four inches and if you want to know how much space that takes on track you're going to have to add a little extra for couplers on either side so you're a little over four and a quarter inches maybe but let's just say you had four and a half inches 
for every refrigerator car and you want to see figure out how many cars can sit on a spur that's 24 inches you can then just divide 24 by 4.5 and you're going to get five cars you're not going to be able to get six Six cars would get you a tight squeeze uh, with the couplers, uh, not going to happen. And then remember that you're going to have an engine on there uh, for backing up. And let's say the engine is 60 feet. Uh, I would say the engine 70 feet. So 70 feet. That's five and a quarter inches. So you're going to say subtract 24, subtract five and a quarter, and then divide that by 4.5. You can get four cars. You got a track plan, a switch. 24 inches from here to here you're only going to be able to put four cars and store four cars on that spur okay so last thing Let's review and to see if we understand the concept. Let's do this again in O scale. For every unit, there's 48 units for O scale. That means for every 12 inches of layout space, that's equivalent to 48 feet of track or car so a 48 foot car would take 12 inches let's do this again get out the calculator 48 divided by 12 is four making O scale pretty simple to do your conversions uh, to take the reciprocal 0.25 all you then have to do is multiply 0 0.25 by scale feet to get you your scale inches so 0.25 times 10 so 10 feet is 2.5 inches forty feet is four times two point five which is ten inches and there you have it a 50 foot car be 12.5 inches. And then you can calculate any particular foot in O scale by simply multiplying by 0.25. So let's say you had a 60 foot building. Multiply by 0.25, 15. And because O scale is very simple, one quarter inch to a foot, as you probably have 
reconciled by now <laughs> that uh, you, you can do a lot of this math in your head. So going back to n scale with a ratio of 1 to 160, let's say we want to do some other conversions, just the opposite conversions. Let's say we have, so let's say we have a 24 inch space on the layout. We could then divide the 24 inches by this 0 0.75. That would be equivalent to 320 feet. Or 320 times 0 0.075 equals 24 inches. Now let's say we want to figure out how many feet of layout makes a mile in N scale. So a mile is 5,280, 5,280 times 0 0.075 equals 396 inches, divide that by 12, and we get 33 feet. So 33 feet gives you a mile in N scale. And 16.5 feet is only one half mile in N scale. There's going to be a lot of compression going on when we build our layouts. And if we want to Think about the same thing in O scale. You're going to multiply 5,280 by 0 0.25, 1300 inches divided by 12, 110 feet gives you a mile on O scale. If I did ever all my math correctly. All right, everyone. I uh, hope this helps you in compressing your your miles to inches when building your layouts. We'll see you next time.